Peter. And, and kissed his feet and anointed them with with the ointment. Uh -huh. Now when the Pharisees had bitten him, saw it, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that touched him. Yeah, it'd be like, oh, oh, that's a that's a that's a sinner woman right there. Why he letting her touch him like that? She's not right, you know. But she came and she was she was basically repenting, man. She was sorrowful for what she did. Because everybody knew she was a sinner, Kirita. For she is a sinner. Yeah. And Yahweh answering said unto him, Simon, I have I have somewhat to say unto thee. Yeah. And he said, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. One owed five hundred pence pins and the other 50 uh -huh. and when they had nothing to pay he franken forgave them both tell me therefore which of them will love the most Simon answered and said I su suppose that he to whom he forgave most yeah and he said unto him thou hast rightly judged that's right and there's plenty of things we did prior coming in this truth that is worthy of death. One, worshiping other gods, which that's part of the curses of us doing that. Okay, because we didn't know we was Israelites. Uh, eating abominable foods. All right. Some of us unwillingly committing adultery. Okay. Others probably were selling drugs or doing stuff like that. But, but when we heard this, we felt bad about that. And we probably still feel bad about that, praying hopefully that the Lord might have mercy on us, man. All right? Keep having that fear. And then we start doing this work. Keep reading. And he, and he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, yeah. See if thou this woman, I entered unto thy house, thou giveth me no water for my feet. Yeah, because they wore sandals back there. So they constantly like wash their feet whenever they came into the house because you know your feet be dirty and stuff. Keep reading. But she had washed my feet with tears uh -huh. and wiped them with her hair of head, of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss with this woman since the time I came in have ceased to kiss my feet, have uh -huh. ceased not to kiss my feet. My head. My head with oil did not anoint, uh -huh. but this woman have anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. Yeah, and, and ooh, 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 you know, ooh, it's going to burn up these false Israelite groups, these, these hypocrites out here, man. Mainly these fucking church people, man, because they, they think we some damn grimmers out here, man. Even the people amongst Israel, they think we some gribblings. But these people outside of Israel that's not in the truth, they think we some damn demons or something. You know, they call us Satan or they say, even this dude said, he said, because we angry all the time or we appear angry, we got Satan on us. That's how they said about the Lord. They call him Beelzebub. They call him, uh, they said he had a devil. Okay. He told this woman, he said, because her, he said her sins are forgiven, even though they're many. Keep reading. Are forgiven, she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same love of little. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgiveth sins also? And, uh -huh. he, said unto the, and he said to the woman, Thy faith have saved, saved, the go in peace. That's right. It's our faith. Faith in works. Her works was that she came to the Lord in a, in a repentant spirit and the Lord had mercy on her. She came correct. Simon, which was a Pharisee, which he should have known better, he didn't even uh, uh, help the Lord out, man. Go to uh, Luke chapter 19. Start at the top. We about to read about a, a, a well-known publican Named uh, uh, Zacchaeus. 
Am I saying it right? Zacchaeus? The one that was up in the sycamore tree? I think I'm saying it right. Luke chapter 19. And Yehoshan entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zach, Zach, the Zacharias, which was the chief among the publicans and was rich. And he was rich because he was a tax collector. And, the, and when you look up publicans, they were known to be deceptive, greedy, and harsh to the people. So he made a lot of money extorting people. Like we got in that parable, because that's what that uh, Pharisee said about that publican. He was an extortioner, adulterer, and he was unjust. And he was a sinner. Can you read it? And he sought to see Yahweh Shai who was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. Uh -huh. And he ran before and climbed up onto the sycamore tree to see him. And he was to, and was to press the way. Uh -huh. And when Yahweh Shai came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zach Zacharies, make haste and come down for, for today I must abide at thy house. Uh -huh. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw him, they all murmured saying that he was going to be, going to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. Yeah, there they go again, Papa shit. This man was a, he was the chief among the publicans, so he was extremely hated, man. And he probably did a lot of grimy stuff, man. But he wanted, he wanted to see the Lord. And the Lord said, you know what? I'm gonna go eat at your house today, in front of everybody. Cause you know, at that time, everybody was, they knew about the Lord. He was famous at that time. So there was a lot of people that was just riding with him cause of, cause of what he could do. So they was like, man, I know he gonna come eat at my house. They just knew like these church niggas, okay? Or someone like Simon the Pharisee, who got cut when the Lord checked him when he had uh, he was talking about that woman in his mind. Okay? But the people said, man, this dude's a sinner. Why why the Lord going to eat at that nigga's house? Just paraphrase. Keep reading. And Zacharias stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation I restore unto him for for more. Uh -huh. And Yahweh shot said unto him, This day is salvation come unto this house, for so much as he also is a, a son of Abraham. For the sons of men, for the son of men is come to seek and to save that which is lost. That's right. That's it on that. That's plain. So when, when he came to eat at this man's house, the Lord was, you know, he was, he was, he was chilling with him. And, you know, he was talking to him, whatever. Then the man said, you know what? I'm going to repent. He showed repentance. That's why the Lord said salvation came to him. And the people perceived him a sinner. Just like how these clowns perceive us in GMS. We're a bunch of sinners. That's what they think. Clown. Go to uh, Mark 24. I mean, excuse me, Mark chapter 7, verse 24. Let's see how the Lord talked about uh, this this Greek. It was a Jake woman. The Seraphonician woman was an Israelite that was under the, that was in that Hellenistic mindset. Because when you look up the Greek word, for Greek right there, it's Hellenist. So Mark. Mark chapter 7, verse 24 to 30. We're going to see how the Lord talked to these women. Okay? We saw an example of a woman that was a sinner that the Lord said she, her sins were forgiven because of her faith, because she believed on the Lord. Okay, look at that, look at that wickedness, man. Mark chapter 7, verse 24. Mark chapter 7, verse 24. And from thence he rose and went into the borders of Tyre and Zidane, uh -huh. and entered into a house, and went and, and would have no man known it, but he could not be hid. For a certain woman whose, whose young, younger daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. Yeah, so the Lord, he was going into the city and he was going to uh, hang out or be at this person's house without everybody knowing. But this woman, which was uh, an Israelite foreigner, she sought the Lord 
and she was 